The story of Vladimir Vetrov, high-ranking KGB officer and secret operative for the French intelligence service, is one of the most bizarre to emerge from the Cold War. Part thriller, part charade. It's a tale of infidelity, bravery and betrayal that led to one of the most astonishing Trojan horse operations in the history of espionage and ultimately helped hasten the collapse of the entire Soviet system. Vladimir Vetrov, the man who would become one of the most important spies of the Cold War, was born to modest means in 1932. He grew up in central Moscow in a one-room flat with his parents. Yet from a young age, it appeared Vetrov was destined for great things. Intelligent and an excellent sportsman, Vetrov was a popular young man. Vetrov graduated as an engineer from one of the country's top universities. Then he was handpicked to join the KGB training school. But he had bigger dreams. Shortly after graduating, Vetrov met Svetlana Baroshkova, a renowned beauty and a top athlete. The two hit it off immediately. Within a year, they were married. As a rising star of the KGB, Vetrov earned one of its most glamorous postings. An important bridgehead between East and West, Paris was a happy hunting ground for Soviet intelligence. It was also the dream posting for any KGB agent and his wife. But it wasn't long before the bright lights and freedoms of Paris made Vetrov and Svetlana question the merits of the Soviet system they had left behind. Raymond Nahr worked for the DST at the time. He believed Vetrov might be persuaded to defect to the West. He instructed a contact, a man named Jacques Prévost, to monitor him. Like all the Russians, he was pretty good. And with a car, de l'ambassade. Il a eu un accident. En tout cas, la voiture a été complètement cassée. Vetrov couldn't tell his KGB bosses about the crash. It would have been catastrophic for his career. И в этой ситуации Ветров обратился к человеку, которого он считал своим французским другом, к Жаку Приво, и объяснил ему, в чем дело. Overnight, the car was fixed, painted, and returned. Good as new. Приво had made the problem go away. Et bien entendu, c'était un service éminent qui avait été rendu. Et Vetrov, ça n'est, ça n'est toujours souvenu. И э, он ему даже сказал, э, что я в любом случае твой должник. Vetrov promised that one day he would repay the favor to his friend Prevo. Vetrov was now a spy who owed a debt to a member of a foreign intelligence service. And in the world of spies, debts are always collected. <laughs> <laughs> 